This is tricky because so many people come from tennis and play this style, it's actually quite difficult to know what you need to do to beat them. Hi team, Sandy from the Paddle School here. Today we're going to talk about a really a frustrating opponent and that is net rushers. People who play really fast, charge the net and then hit aggressive fast volleys. And I'm guilty of being like that when I first started playing paddle, so I know this game very well. Today we're going to talk about how you can identify those type of players and secondly, how can you beat them? So to start with, let's look at that type of player. Now this type of player is usually a player who is at the back of the court and they hit any type of ball and then charge forward and often they come up and get stuck in no man's land but they hit the volley so fast you often don't have time to deal with it so they're hitting balls and then they're charging up and when they get to the correct net position they're also the ones who are coming forward hitting fast volleys and really taking your time away so it can be difficult to know how to beat them because you feel like you've just got no time at all so when we talk about identifying these people, either you know your opponents and you know that they're gonna be net rushers and you come to expect that in your game, but sometimes you play players that you don't know. So a good way to tell is by looking at their net position when they're volleying to you in the warm up. If you're at the back of the court and you're hitting the ball to them at the net and you can see that they're hitting fast flat volleys and they're taking steps forward but not recovering their net position, it usually means they're quite an aggressive net player that they're constantly trying to press forward. Yes, we can't really see what they're gonna do like approach in the warm up, but you can see from their volleys, if they hit fast flat volleys and they take step forwards without recovering their net position, then you usually know that you're up against someone who rushes that net. So to begin with, we're gonna talk about two scenarios, either you're serving or returning. So first, let's look at the easiest scenario when you're serving. Now, if you want to control the speed while you're serving and keep them at the back, then you want to hit your first serve and you want to hit medium speed with a little bit of slice into that glass if you can. If you hit the glass, it slows down even more, so that's always good. But then when you come forward, here you want to play that nice first volley, a little bit soft, a little bit of slice, forcing them either to the back center or to a space that you've created with your serve. If you come in and you hit your first volley fast, or you try and hit a drop shot, you try and hit short, or you mistime your volley, then it will allow them to pounce on that net or to hit fast back to you. But if you start the point with a softer serve into the glass, a little bit of slice and come in and hit that first ball soft down the middle, where the first bounce is around about here, and then the second bounce is going to be just before that back glass, dying by that back glass. It's really difficult for them to net rush and to charge you when you've got that second ball back so far with so little pace. So that is what I recommend doing when you're serving is to serve and hit that first one nice and soft with a little bit of slice, forcing them to the back of the court. The second scenario is when you're starting at the back of the court. So you might be the returner or your partner is returning. And this is more difficult because if they hit a fast serve with the glass, it's actually quite difficult for you to slow that ball down in a chiquita or to lob off a good serve with the glass. So you may need to just block that ball back, you know, get that ball back to into court. If you can to the server, fantastic. And then you look to slow the point down. But if it doesn't go against the glass and it comes in here into the box and you've got a bit more choice, then ideally soft down to the feet or soft lob and nice get some nice height on it if you hit fast against net rushers who are already at net you're going to be in a very high speed point and you're going to be stuck at the back of the court so make sure also that you don't do that net rushing yourself because again you can't slow the point down if you hit fast and come up into this no man's land and, and move up the court trying to play fast because the point will just get out of control so stay at the back of the court block that return down to your opponents and on that next ball or, or soon after that try and use the lob or the chiquita I know what you're going to say to that. You're gonna say it's very difficult to hit a lob or chiquita when that ball is coming so fast at you. And this is where you must use the glass. When that ball is bouncing and hits the glass, the rebound will slow that ball down, but also it's gonna carry it in the direction that you want to play. And if they have hit a fast aggressive volley and it's gonna bounce off the glass, it usually means it's gonna come further back up the court here. So all you need to do is just guide that ball back to the other side of the net and then you're in the point. So 
Just remember that once you've hit that return, you're at the back of the court, use that glass because often players that net rush hit fast, flat volleys. And if you use the glass, the bounce will be easier. It's more difficult for those players that hit lots of slice or, or control the speed of the volley. The net rushers often play everything fast and therefore I really recommend using that back glass. This only works if both you and your partner are doing this. If you're playing nice and controlled, soft down the feet and lobs, but your partner's playing super fast and net rushing as well, then it's not gonna be effective and it's gonna be really difficult for you to do this. So make sure you share this video with your partner because it's important that you're both on the same page. And on this side up here, I'm gonna put a video about how you can hit lobs and chiquitas from those fast balls because that's really where you want to go if you understand this concept of slowing the game down.